Rocky. He said, stay. Stay. Hello. Hi. Doing a little dog training. I love it. <laughs> yeah, come yeah. on in. I was just making you a charcuterie board. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks beautiful. You made this yourself? Uh, yes. Really? Yeah. Great job. Chardonnay. Yeah, that would be great. Fabulous. Thank you, honey. <laughs> it makes mom's job easy. <laughs> right. Hi. Hi, guys. What's going on? I made them walk today because it's such a nice day. Come give me a hug and then go wash your hands. Hi, Brex. Did you wash the soap? Yeah, go put your stuff away. We're gonna Brooks just be. Brooks and Brooks need to meet. Yes, Brooks. You know that Meredith has a son named Brooks, right? <laughs> Do you want to sit outside? Do you yeah, think? let's sit I can outside. get you a blanket. I think you might need a jacket. Yeah. <laughs> in all the years that I've known Meredith, she's never shown any interest in coming over to my house and spending time with me. Do you want to sit right here? Sure. But since her recent falling out with Lisa, it seems she has time for me. You can wrap oh, yourself you. up in that. Thank you so much. This is great. Now I'm comfy cozy. So what else is going on? Tell me. It's been a little, little crazy, right? Yeah. I mean, I feel like I need to ask you how you're doing. I'm okay, you know. Did you have fun at the party? Yeah, I mean, it was awkward with Lisa. You know, it's just, there's no like practice what you preach with her. She's so just hypocritical. And then she's always telling everyone else that they're hypocritical and they're wrong and they're this and they're that. She has bad mouth every single one of us in our circle. I don't want to lose our liquor license over somebody's wedding in their basement with a stripper pole. I used to hear stories. I think she was like the one that was like, honor code what? She was meeting up with somebody other than her family. That piece of garbage whore. I hate her. She's a whore. She's half of me. You say to yourself, whoa, why are you so busy trying to put everyone else down in this way when there are all these rumors flying about you? Like. Well, what have you heard? Jen just made reference to there having been affairs. What do you know? I just heard that she was, you know, doing favors to help get places to pick up Vita Tequila. I have no idea if it's true or false. It sounds absurd to me. I know that sounds absurd, but it's really not because I've actually heard the same thing. You have heard that? Yes. I have a, a friend, and it's a mutual friend of Lisa's, and he's very wealthy and very well known in Utah, and I've heard that she slept with him to sway him to invest in her businesses. I don't know, but I feel bad talking about her. The last thing I want to do is sit and talk about Lisa behind her back. I'm just trying to understand, like, how did we even get here? I don't know, but during my last healing session with Megan, my energy healer, I was able to connect to Lisa. It's still stuck. What's coming to mind? Um, actually, it's Lisa. <laughs> I always see her as, like, big, mean, nasty, but I just saw her as like a scared little girl. The inner child. Yeah. Wow. When I felt her and saw her, I realized that maybe there is something there that is like worth fighting for. Wow. I hear you. I just don't know. Um, at this point, in my view, like, why am I bothering, you know? Yeah, but hear me out. So we have this trip coming up, and Jen, I know that she needs us. And I am hijacking all the bullshit. It really is gonna be about healing. <laughs> okay, for real? For reals. We can do this, we can come together. Okay.